Senate Justice Committee Chairman Richard Gordon calls for a Senate probe into the killing of Mayor Espinosa. We now have him on the line. Senator Gordon, thanks for taking our call. Hello, Emily. Good morning. Good everyone. morning. Senator, how do you make sense of the shooting of Mayor Espinosa? From the information you have received on the shooting incident, do you think this is a case of extrajudicial killing? Yes, I think so. From the looks of it, it seems like it's a deliberate, uh, you know, a, uh, operation to kill uh, Espinosa and the other guy. Uh, they come in at four o'clock in the morning when the night was darkest in a support, what is supposedly a secure area. They uh, practically tell the guards not to intervene. And I understand from uh, what I'm hearing uh, from the autopsy reports that the shots were all downward all to the stomach and to the chest, which means that uh, uh, this is all the hallmarks of uh, somebody who was begging for his life. And, uh, you know, I don't know why in the first place they would come in at night. He's already jailed. What are they talking about? Why, what are they going there for? Uh, they're slapping each other. The jail uh, system guards, are, are you telling me the jail system guards uh, do not check the firearms of the uh, where the prisoner, prisoners don't have firearms? Or for that matter, how do they know they have firearms? Isn't there departmental courtesy? And, uh, I mean, who gave the orders? I mean, there are so many questions that have to be answered. And this really is a dagger, as I said earlier, that strikes at the very heart of the criminal justice system in our country. If you if people surrender to uh, the authorities, that, that sometimes it is considered a mitigating circumstance. And when somebody surrenders, mm -hmm. he puts himself at the mercy of these people.